Hobby Lobby Recruiting. This is Susie. Hey, Susie, how you doing? I finally actually got somebody. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good. What can I do for you, dear? Oh, okay, so I, you know, you guys have an ad in Facebook, and I was just calling to get a little bit more information about uh, what you guys are offering and and what's the criteria for the company. You mind if I you mind if I ask you a little okay. it, get a little bit about you guys? No, not at all. Where do you live, dear? Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm out of Ohio. Okay. All right. So basically what we we do is we're delivering our own product to our own stores. Mm -hmm. And it's no touch freight to the drivers, but it is team driving. Now, our drivers are out for five days. They run about 5,000 miles. And then they're home for the same two days each week. Okay. Now, it might not necessarily be the weekend. It all varies as far as your dedicated route goes. Okay. Okay. Um, can I? Okay. Can normally, I, within. Can I, can I ask? Uh -huh, a, go can ahead. I, can I ask a question about the teams? Um, sure. Uh huh. So I I read on the I, I did read on the website that you guys do uh, require teams, but do you guys have solo drivers or no? Only if you live in the Oklahoma City area or the Dallas area. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah. Now, being yeah. that this is like Hobby Lobby, like I mean, what? Mm -hmm. I mean, what? I mean, what is? I mean, is it a hobby store, a mega store? What kind of store is this to require? To it's require basically expedite? an arts and crafts store. Uh huh. So we're basically, it's arts, crafts, decor, you know, that kind of stuff. And we have one terminal here in Oklahoma City. Okay. So all of our routes come in and out of Oklahoma City. Okay. So let me just kind of give you a for example, gotcha. okay? Gotcha. So you're in Ohio. Um, you've taken your two days off. Your truck's been parked at the closest store. Mm -hmm. You go back to your truck, and that's when your new week's going to start. Yes, ma'am. And you're going to bring whatever back call it is that you have back to Oklahoma. Oh, you're going to drop it okay. off here at the yard, mm -hmm. and then you're going to pick up your next store delivery. Well, your first store delivery for that week. Okay. And let's just say that this store delivery delivers in Nevada. Okay. So you're going to take your store delivery, take it to Nevada. The store will actually unload the freight. Right. Um, let's just say, for example, you have store cleanup. So the store that you're at, they're going to put empty totes, pallets, glass racks on there. Right. And on your way back, since your trailer's not full, you've got two or three other stores that you might stop in to fill up your trailer. Oh, okay. okay. Whatever. Whatever that is, you're going to bring back to Oklahoma City and drop it here on the yard. Okay. Then you're going to pick up your next store delivery. And let's just say this one happens to deliver in Virginia. Mm -hmm. You're going to deliver there. You're going to, um, they'll unload it. This time, let's just say you're going to drop and hook because you've got an outside back call that you're going to be bringing in. Right. You're going to go pick up that back call. You're going to go back to Ohio. You're going to park your truck. Mm -hmm. You're going to go home for your two days. Then come back to your truck. That back call, you'll be bringing back to Oklahoma, starting it all over again the next week. Okay. Now let me ask you. Now let me ask you this. Now, this is uh -huh. all. This, this is all pertaining to me living in Ohio. But of course, I will have a uh -huh. team driver. So, will my team driver be from Ohio as well? Or if if I don't they come would, in with a they team, they would need to be. Oh, okay. Okay. They okay. would need to be. So I wouldn't bring you in without a team. Okay. Um, if you were interested in everything, and um, let's see, I would have to see if I had somebody that has applied that is also looking to, you know, have a partner in that area. Okay. Um, and then normally what I would do is I would, if y'all are close enough, I would have y'all exchange phone numbers, right. let y'all talk to each other, right. and then y'all make the determination. Exactly. Okay. You know, um, we also want to know, you know, are you a smoker, non-smoker? So right. that way, if I've got somebody here that's a, the opposite, I don't want to, you know, worry about wasting y'all's time. Exactly. You know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Okay. So, so we don't, we want them to be usually within no more than an hour away from the same store. Gotcha. Okay. So how much is how much yeah. experience how much experience you guys looking for? 
One of the drivers is required to have a year or more of over the road, coast to coast, and the other one can come in with a minimum of six months. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what about pre employment okay. pre employment drug screening? Is it hair follicles or urine or both? Urine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yep. uh, and of course this and of course you you mentioned that we can average about 45 4500 miles plus. So what's the mileage pay for for paper mile? The mileage portion of now we're not a true trucking company so you have to bear with me, okay? Okay. So our pay scale is different. Okay. Now our mileage pay is all paid on the hub. Okay? okay. So okay. whatever mileage you're putting on that tractor is what you're going to get paid for, okay? okay? It's 62 cents to the team, and that puts it at a 31-cent split. Now, 4 cents of that pay is per diem and non-taxable. Okay. But now if you and your partner happen to get a route that takes y'all more than 900 miles from the Oklahoma City Terminal, it's going to pay each one of you an additional 2 cents per mile round trip. Okay. Now, every time that y'all bump a dock, you're going to split $37. Okay. And then, of course, detention is eighteen fifty an hour after the first two hours free to allow them to unload. And unless there's a road closure or a breakdown, then it's going to pay after the first hour. Okay. Now, after eight, yep, after eight weeks, you're eligible for a quarterly safety bonus. Right. Now, that bonus is going to pay each one of you three cents for every mile driven within that quarter, as long as you have no incidents, accidents, or tickets. Okay. Now, obviously, if your partner had a ticket, you wouldn't be faulted for it and vice versa. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And then, uh-huh. What, what? Now, after 30 days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. You, <laughs> you qualify for holiday pay. Um, you might work it, but you also get the holiday pay. Oh, okay. um, now, the first of the month following 60 days, we offer medical, dental, and life insurance. Is that company um, paid? A portion of it is. Okay. A portion of it is. So if it was just, would it be just you, you would be insuring? Yes. Okay. For $67.77 every two weeks. Because we get paid every two weeks. Uh -oh. That will cover uh, your medical at an $850 deductible and then eighty twenty after that. And then the dentals, a fifty dollar deductible, two free cleanings a year, and then eighty twenty after that, and a fifty thousand dollar life insurance policy. Okay. Which if you wanted to add to, you can. Um so this and the so, what thing. so you mentioned uh -huh. You mentioned, you know, because that's kind of a deal breaker, but you, you mentioned that we get paid every two weeks. Yep. Mm. Yep. Direct deposit on every other Friday. Every other Friday. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. like I said, that's, it's kind of a deal breaker, but not, you know, to some drug, uh, to some truck drivers it is, but considering the fact of how much money that you could possibly make, uh, every two weeks will probably be, you know, will probably mm -hmm. be the, you know, the influence for drivers to come in. Okay. Awesome. Right. Uh, what, what are the, uh, what I, I noticed some of the trucks out here, are, are they Volvos or do you guys got different yep. equipment? No, most of ours, we have a contract through Volvo and all of our trucks, all of our equipment is three years or newer. So they're all 780s or 860s. They're all automatics governed at 70. Okay. So they all come equipped with a refrigerator and a brand new 16 inch memory foam mattress when y'all take possession of the truck. Oh, okay. Now, after y'all been, yeah, after y'all been with us for um, a full six months, mm -hmm. you'll have earned your first week of paid vacation. Okay. Now, you'll have until your first anniversary date to take that or you will lose it. But after one year, that goes up to two weeks of vacation. Four years, you get three weeks. Ten years is four weeks. And then at 20, it's five. And then, of course, every year, you'll have to take it by your anniversary date. Oh, okay. Awesome. So, awesome. What about driver yeah. cameras in the truck? Mm -hmm. Not not in facing. If there is any, they're out facing only. Okay. Awesome. Now, being that you guys are like self-contained, 
you guys don't offer no type mm -hmm. of lease opportunities, right? No, we do not. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. We own our trucks out outright and everything. We're self-insured on everything. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, let's say for a driver that comes mm -hmm. in that, you know, that has the year of experience but haven't been driving that year do you guys have some do you guys have some type of refresher course for that driver when they you know if 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 they're interested in coming in if they don't have that unfortunately they would not qualify because they would need to have some type of employment within the last 90 days regardless of what it is and at least three months of driving within the past year all right awesome what about a pet and rider okay. well well no nah, I'm, I'm assuming uh, well, being that it's team okay. drive, do, pets do you are, pets? Yep. But no riders. Pets are good as long as, but no riders, gotcha. no. Um, pets are fine as long as they're agreeable to both drivers. Gotcha, gotcha. And a maximum of two per truck. All right, awesome. Yep. All right, now what about, uh, I guess uh, last but not, you know, I got a few, but uh, what do, do you guys accept? No, you go right ahead. Oh, thank you, awesome. Do you guys have, uh, <laughs> do you guys uh, accept SAP drivers? From the FMCSA? As long as they've completed their program, yes. All right. And what about, did you mention mm -hmm. the sign-on bonus? I, I don't, I think you mentioned the. No, we Okay. We don't have a sign-on bonus. Ours is a quarterly safety bonus. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you. I mean, this this is a lot to so uh, awesome. to process, <laughs> but you know, I'm you know, I, 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 if if I stayed in the Oklahoma area, this company will probably be a company that I that I would definitely be interested in. But as as team okay. as team driving for me, you know, I probably would have to, it, you know. I I understand. I mean, because teaming is not for everybody. Right. I mean, so it's just, you know, some people are just set in their ways and they're just not comfortable. They just can't do it. And so it's definitely got to be something that, you know, you're comfortable with. And if you're not, it, it's not going to work. Definitely. So I, I totally understand. Well, I well so. I will take the information that I got because I'm, I'm in a face, okay. you know, I'm in a couple of Facebook groups and. I would definitely okay. take this information back with me and uh, pass it on to, okay. you know, pass it on to them because, you know, we talk about, you know, different trucking companies and Hobby Lobby was, was, you know, the major point of our conversation at one point because we, we see the trucks all the time. Uh -huh. and, I, and to me, I'm like, <laughs> this is like a hobby place that got there. Like, what, what, what's going on? Do you, do you guys? Yeah. You, you, you guys just take your own freight. Y'all don't. Y'all don't take. Y'all don't. Yep. Y'all don't broker nobody else's freight or nothing like that. This is your own nope. freight. Yep. Our warehouses are all located here in Oklahoma City. Our campus that we have here is about a four square mile area, and it's growing. Um, we have a on-site medical clinic. Oh. Um, we have a pharmacy on site. We have a chapel. Um, okay. And all of our warehouses are here. We're also Mardell's Christian Bookstore, so we deliver to all of those stores. Okay. Um, we have close to a thousand Hobby Lobby stores in the lower 48. Right. And probably close to about 40... 40 to 45 Mardell Christian bookstores that we also deliver to. So a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. Okay. okay. But just a, just a reminder, you know, the reason our pay scale is a lot different in everything that we do is because, you know, we are not a trucking company. We're not trying to fight for freight. We're not trying to contract out or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So we're a retail company that delivers to our own oh, okay. so that's the one good thing is you don't have to fight over freight you don't have to sit around waiting for this waiting for that you know that kind of stuff all righty all righty thank you very very yeah. very much i really you appreciate so the conversation welcome. awesome thank you uh, again, again you're I, welcome i will definitely uh pass this on uh, well, that would be greatly appreciated. We would definitely appreciate that so much. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, darling. You have a wonderful day, okay? All right, now. All righty. Bye-bye. Mm, awesome.
conversation there. I I really don't have much to say, but if you guys are interested in Hobby Lobby, definitely, <laughs> definitely give them a call. The, descri- the the information will be in the description below. Hobby Lobby, you you have to if you're in from the Oklahoma area, you can drive solo, but if not. You have to, you know, find a teammate. Both of y'all got to correlate with each other. Y'all got to be good with each other to go out with each other. And another thing, too, you know, that that wouldn't probably work for me is the fact that uh, it's, um, what do you call it? Uh, what did she say? You get paid every two weeks. So is that good for you guys? Let them know Lockout Men sent you. If you drive for Lobby Hobby, a lobby hobby <laughs> if you drive for a hobby lobby man let me know in the comments below is it a good company for teams are y'all good with the company is the company good with you let me know in the comments below until next time everybody this is, has been another episode of the mtc company spotlight stay tuned for the next mtc company spotlight coming soon there's something in the air tonight Got a feeling coming over me I swear that this is that place to be In the water, in the, the water, in the water